uh, the stage was there, mm -hmm. and there was an empty seat beside me. There was a guy sitting beside me. So I had this space here, and um, so my arm was was here. I was I was sitting like this. Maybe watching. picture them over there. The, the, the. Okay, I'm watching this movement. Yeah, you're watching it. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. A stage with two dancers on it, uh, standing in a, a, a light, a beam of light. Um, one dancer is uh, small and the other one is quite tall. Um, they have been together in the light some time and then they make um, a movement in which the smaller dancer bends down and the taller dancer bends over him. They're standing quite close together and it's a movement which surprises me uh, because of its um, tenderness. I thought it was a tender uh, moment mm -hmm. between the two guys um, which I found convincing and what I felt was um, a small um, I felt it beneath my heart, like a constriction beneath my heart, uh, which gave me a warm feeling, mm -hmm. a warm and uh, yeah, warm, comfortable feeling. That I thought, oh, okay, these they are um, these two dancers are um, not afraid to do this, not afraid to make this movement together, mm -hmm. and. Um, that, that's what I felt at, at that moment. What I found very touching is that um, in the beginning the first uh, um, image was very much the, the difference in length which was very obvious, it was really a statement. Mm -hmm. And then, um, in the folding over movement, they became they they came together, but very uh, very intimately, mm -hmm. because the short guy was literally in the the tall guy, and I yeah. thought that was I thought it was very beautifully found. Uh, yeah, that was a, something very beautiful. Also, a sense of admiration that it was that it. Um, appear to be real. In that moment, in that particular part of the choreography, I thought um, these two dancers are doing this and they, they are feeling this movement. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's something that's rehearsed many times and it's something that's constructed, it's built, but still it touched me. Mm -hmm. but you, f you felt they were feeling this? I don't think they could have conveyed a message if they didn't. Or you know the the, the, the what they they were standing very close together. That yeah. does something to you as a dancer to be so close together on stage. They closed their eyes. That was what made it um, what it what made it feel real to me. Um, the identification with the smaller dancer was the fact that in this world a lot of people are taller than I am. Mm -hmm. And that's why I thought the difference in size was so uh, intriguing for me. Yeah. But I identified with the small guy, not yeah. with the large guy. Yeah. And I wanted to know, I actually wanted to know how, really how long the tall guy was. 
I'd hope to see him on uh, on floor level yeah. to see if he's really six foot long or, t uh, or tall or, or, or taller. But yeah, I identify with the, the small guy. Mm. The moment they see me, I experience it as if they have an immediate... Um, God, what is that word? Um, advantage. Mm -hmm. Because of their size, because they're bigger than me. Yeah. So, um, sometimes I feel like a small dog barking up a very big tree. You know, listen to me. Um, and then the only way how I can uh, sort of reach them or, or not control them but is through knowledge. To, to let them know that I have that I have knowledge that mm -hmm. they probably don't. But then they start about computers and then I'm totally lost. So. How was the relation between these, like you, we have been talking about so big, mm -hmm. but how, um, how did they relate to each other in this uh, dancing together? I thought the small guy, uh, he was as forceful, as powerful as the tall guy. Mm -hmm. I like to see that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he was not. <laughs> but he was not. He was not pushed in the role of underdog. But it was equal there. And um, yeah, and challenging. And um, I liked it. I liked to watch it. Yeah, I did.